Okay, um, hey class, this is Rosemary. Um, so I have all my materials laid out here. Um, and it's all listed in the assignment that you will have um, when you're doing this. So the first thing it says is to work in your sketchbook um, with your different materials and just kind of experiment. So if you've never used charcoal before, you kind of need to get a little familiar with it. So like the photo that I posted, um, you have the willow charcoal. This is all vine charcoal, like all these sticks. This is all called vine. You have the medium, the willow, which is just like really soft. And then this is like the heavier, chunky kind. And then also I asked you to buy um, these charcoal sticks. They have different names, different places. They're called past charcoal pastels. Sometimes they're called compressed, but they're just really dark and they come in these like long rectangles um, like this. And then we have the white eraser like we used last week. And then the new material, we have this like gum eraser. It's called a kneaded eraser and you can like pull it apart. And then you have the chamois, which I know is a, um, when it's written out, you might not know how to say it, but this is what the chamois is. And it's um, used to kind of spread and smudge the charcoal. So the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to experiment in your sketchbook with the different um, with the different charcoal. And I thought I was going to have a tripod by this week's demo, but I unfortunately still don't have a tripod. So you have to bear with me with this shaky video. So I just want you to try the different types of charcoal that there is. You have like this one, you have the medium vine charcoal. Now you're not using it like a pencil like this. You should be holding it like this. And if it breaks, that's normal. Sometimes I usually just break it before I even start. And just You can see the different um, pressures. You can get different results when you add different pressure. Oops. <laughs> and you can smudge it with your fingers. You can play around with the chamois. Okay. So you can see like some get really dark and some kind of get dusty and kind of blows away. The willow is pretty, pretty thin. Um, and then you also have this big stick. Now I told you to get a few different kinds. Don't worry if you don't have all the same ones that I have. Um, as long as you have, at least have this and one of the vine charcoals, that'll be great. Um, so you can play around with the chamois. And then I also want you to play around just like we did last week with the line menu with the um, eraser. So like drawing into the charcoal, which we'll be doing next week, um, is another way of creating marks is by taking away the charcoal and just not by adding it. And then the other tool, which is hard to use with one hand as I hold one hand, hold um, the phone with one hand, is this kneaded eraser. Okay. And then you can pull it you can kind of pull it, which is hard to show on camera, um, but you can kind of pull it apart. Just play around with it, and it kind of cleans itself, um, so you can constantly reuse it. Um, and I want you to see what happens if you use the corner. You can get a nice line. If you use the top, if you use the side. Okay, so that is the first step. You should just be playing around uh, material exploration in your sketchbook. So this is the end of video one. So complete that and then move on to video two.